Welcome to part one of the PowerPlay series. In this video, I will be talking about PowerPlay in general. Powers represent people and organizations competing for territory in human space. A power's territory is defined by the number of systems it directly controls. Every system within a 15 light year radius of a control system is part of the power's territory and is exploited. Once you have increased your elite combat, exploration or trade rank, you can pledge allegiance to a power and help achieve galactic domination. The first step in aligning to a power is to decide who to support. Information can be found on all active powers from the Galactic Powers button. This can be accessed whether docked or in flight. From here, you can access Galnet News, current power standings and, once pledged, your powers overview screen. The standing screen shows you the current top 10 powers in the galaxy. As powers are more or less successful in their actions, their standing will change. Select one to see more details. The overview screen displays more detail for any chosen power. Here you can see their ethos, as well as their major faction alliance and current status. The ethos section will help you understand what the power stands for and what their style of the three core actions will be. This is important information as it dictates the gameplay you'll be involved in. Choose one that complements your playstyle. Once you have made a decision, click the Pledge Allegiance button. Every successful action you perform whilst aligned to a power earns you merit and a small credit compensation. As you gain merit, your rating with your power increases. This allows you access to different benefits, including credit bonuses and unique modules for your ship. Pledging allegiance is a big statement. Other ships will be able to see who you are aligned to with a standard scan. This makes travelling in other powers territories that aren't allied to the same major faction as yours dangerous. You will be seen as an enemy, shown by the hostile warning displayed above your ship's heat signature, and ships aligned to the opposing power can shoot to kill with impunity. Of course, you too can see a ship's allegiance and destroy enemy ships without fear of reprisals in systems controlled or exploited by your power. At the heart of power play is a resource called Command Capital, or CC. Exploited systems provide a CC income. From this income, powers must spend CC to pay upkeep for control systems, which would otherwise revolt. Remaining CC is then used to expand the power's territory by creating additional control systems. There are three core actions that you can take part in to support your power. Preparation, Expansion and Control. Preparation is the first step in taking control of a new star system. Expansion is next. Once the system is successfully prepared, you must complete the expansion goal in the target system to take control. You can also attempt to oppose rival expansion attempts. Be warned, your expansion attempts can also be opposed. Control is the act of maintaining systems under your control by fortifying them. This lowers their upkeep cost. Control also covers the act of undermining other powers controlled systems, increasing their upkeep cost. Again, be warned, your power can also be undermined. For more information on the three core actions, please see parts 2, 3 and 4 of the Powerplay series. Powerplay runs in cycles, currently lasting one week. At the end of a cycle, all preparation, expansion and control actions are resolved and upkeep is paid for all controlled systems. Ending a cycle with a negative amount of CC will plunge systems into turmoil, potentially resulting in total loss of control if not rectified. At the beginning of a new cycle, the galactic landscape may have changed dramatically. You can leave or defect from your chosen power at any time. However, there are penalties for this. Defection allows you to switch powers immediately and keep some of your rating to transfer to your new power. Defecting also comes with the cooldown before you can defect to another power. Choosing to leave a power returns you to a neutral state and removes your rating. As with defection, there is a cooldown period before you can pledge to another power. Be careful, powers don't take defection or leaving lightly. They will send ships to hunt you down and attempt to destroy you. Leaving, rather than defecting, carries less of a penalty, but you still need to watch your six. Powers will rise and powers will fall. Choose your side carefully 
and take part in the ultimate battle for supremacy on a galactic scale. <laughs>